All right, Coach, let's start with why come to Texas? I think it speaks for itself. Uh, you're talking about one of the most tradition-rich you know, college football programs in, in the country. Um, it's one of those uh, programs. I'm, I'm a, consider myself a football junkie, and it's one of those programs that, you know, if you ever felt like you had a chance to go work at, it would probably be too hard to turn down. So um, I'm thrilled to be here and, you know, looking forward to getting on the field and, and getting ready to start coaching here. You've been with Coach Strong. What makes him such a great coach? I think consistency. I think um, he, is, he is a hands-on coach. He believes in just being fundamentally sound and really just being tougher than people. He's, he's been on the defensive side of the ball for most of his career and has been able to be a part of some great defenses and coach some great individual players. And I think if you ask him the thing that he'll say that was consistent about all of them is that they were smart, they were tough, and they were dependable that they were going to show up and they were going to be the same guy every Saturday when they showed up to go play and have fun doing it. I think that's the thing that we, we sometimes take away uh, from, from players as coaches is they go out there and it's a job for us, but it's an experience for, for, for the players. You know, this is supposed to be the best years of their lives and they really should go out there and enjoy themselves. We're going to make it tough enough in practice and during the off season, we really need to make sure the game day experience and, and the build up to it is an experience that should last you know, for them for a lifetime. I know it's still early on, but do you feel like the staff has put a stamp on the program, their stamp on the program? It's getting there. I, I Myself personally, I don't feel like uh, we can say that until we go and play against another opponent. I think we can start working toward that. But until you go go and play against someone else, you know where it really counts. You'll fit, you'll see if you really put your stamp on the program. But we're working on it. I think we're changing some some of the mentalities on on the team, and we're 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 molding them to become what we want them to become. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's when they go out there and, and some adversity hits. Are they gonna? Are the, is the team gonna? kind of go off of what we think they're going to be. Are they going to become what we want them to be when adverse situations come up? What are your expectations for spring ball? Uh, just to get better. You want to get to know your kids. Um, you know, myself with the linebackers, we still have some guys that are injured, so you're not going to get a chance to actually get them on the field. So the kids you're going to work with, you want to, you know, just see, you know, what are their strengths and what, their, what are their weaknesses and what you can enhance as a strength and what can you help them with as far as the, uh, their weaknesses. Um, and just to find out, you know, with, through the scrimmages and, uh, you know, through some of the situations in practice, you know, who's going to be the leader that's going to step up and who's going to be a productive player and what we're, what we're going to ask them to do. I know you've watched a lot of tape from last year, probably practices and games of the linebacking core. What stands out? I think they're uh, a big um, athletic group. Um, you know, obviously with some of the injuries, some guys had to play some, some positions they probably weren't used to. I think they're uh, obviously intelligent enough to run two different type of systems because of what happened last year. And I think with, with that being said, you, you feel comfortable kind of throwing our defensive package at them and understanding that they, they, they should be able to to be able to follow it and be able to execute it because they persevered through, you know, some some tough times last year and were able to go on a pretty good streak and play pretty good defense at the end of the year. What's going to define the linebacking core? If I had to say it in uh, one word would be um, toughness. I think we're going to put them in position with what we do to make plays, but it's not just going to be about making plays, you know, in the run or the pass game. It's going to be about leadership and making the plays at the right time. Can you be, you know, can you be dependable when you're called upon to be the guy to go make the play to help us go win games? You've got the state of Texas loaded with talent. Obviously, a majority of the guys will come from the state of Texas, but you've got a, a coaching staff that's been all around the country. You've got a lot of ties in the southeast. You got ties everywhere. Yeah. And it's the University of Texas. How often do you plan to go out and out of the state and get some guys? The first thing, and Coach Strong said it first when uh, we talked one on one and when we spoke as a whole staff, is we're, we're going to protect our borders first. Uh, if we can get 100% of the class from the state of Texas, that's what we want to do. Um, and we feel like that's important. I think a kid growing up in the state of Texas and understanding what it means to play here, that's one aspect we, could, we, we, we know will take care of itself mm -hmm. because they understand you know, what the expectations would be coming here and what it means to, to wear that burnt orange. So we're always going to take care 
of our uh, our border first. And like I said, if, if the whole recruiting class comes from the state of Texas, we, we would love that. I know Coach Strong would love it. But in saying that, we also feel like we want to recruit the best players in the country because at the end of the day, you want to go recruit to go win a national championship. And if that means going to reach out to other parts of the country because that player could, could go help us win a national championship, we're prepared to do that also.